The largest Navy exercise on the East Coast in about 20 years is underway 250 kilometers off the coast. It is called Cutlass Fury, and it's bringing ships and submarines and aircraft from six NATO nations together. You've heard about it. Tonight, CTV's Matt Woodman shows us more aboard HMCS Fredericton. At times, Cutlass Fury feels more like a battle than an exercise. This morning, the men and women on board HMCS Fredericton are firing anti-aircraft guns at moving targets pulled through the sky by one of the 26 aircraft involved. And they're not the only ones. 11 ships from the UK, Spain, Germany, France, Canada and the United States are taking part. But anti-submarine warfare is the main objective of Exercise Cutlass Fury, although neither the ships or subs will fire any actual torpedoes. We will actually simulate uh, weapons firings, and he will simulate weapons firings and maneuvers reacting to such. Increase speed over the force. Yves Tremblay has been the commanding officer of HMCS Fredericton since July. So far, he's enjoying the hunt. It's kind of a... Uh... A little game that we play trying to find where they are and then, you know, we want to find them before they find us. It is the world's biggest game of hide and seek. Sean Swinimer is the ship's underwater warfare director and works in the operations room, the only place our cameras weren't allowed inside. For us, we'll uh, employ uh, different uh, types of sensors to try and acoustically gain contact on the uh, submarine and uh, track and localize them. Being able to um, find and then track that submarine is the most important thing. When you know where it is, you know how to avoid it. Task Force Commander Craig Sharpen says the three hidden submarines have the advantage. One of the torpedoes could easily, it, it takes out a ship, it could take out an aircraft carrier. So the 11 NATO surface ships must work together and communicate before the hunter becomes the hunted. Obviously communication is uh, very important and it's very difficult when working with other nations that uh, don't speak English as their primary language. Cutlass Fury isn't just an opportunity to practice anti-submarine warfare training or work with our NATO allies. It's also a chance to work on team building exercises. That began over the weekend on land with some sporting events and now that everyone's on board, they're practicing emergency scenarios. So as the team comes through, they're going to be looking for areas that are hot. Officers try to make the onboard emergency simulations as real as possible using smoke machines for fires. And fake blood for personal injuries. Very few people are aware of when and what drills will happen, only adding to the urgency. We have 15 minutes to go for the dead sleep, day or night, to be up and be actually be putting water onto the seat of the fire. Between submarine hunting tactics and emergency response training, it all makes for a long, tiring day. Some real multi-threat environment. This is as complex as we can get, and we're pushing teams quite hard right at the beginning. So seven cooks work rotating shifts 24-7, preparing 1,200 meals a day for the 250 sailors. Every one of the more than 3,000 personnel involved in Cutlass Fury has an important role to play within this NATO team. In some ways you could say it, it already is a success because we're out here, uh, we're operating together, we're communicating together. They hope the rest of the 12-day exercise is smooth sailing. Matt Woodman, CTV News, on board HMCS Fredericton.